Hello guys and welcome back to another Gothic 2 returning experience with Miss Livers on Lobart's farm. We are headed to town, finally. But first we're gonna meet a very special pirate. His name is Greg. There should be a captain in there somewhere. Yeah, sorry. Captain Greg. Might as well do that right. Uh, anyway, Greg has a, like five different dialogue options, but you just choose the first one so you skip the rest and just give him the farmer clothing. That way um, you'll get some extra experience and some extra gold from him. This only works if you're playing returning. For example, in the base game, Greg doesn't even exist. But in gold edition, he's still there. Once you reach the gate, the city guards will stop you and uh, ask you how to get in in the first place. The first option is to bring the herbs to Constantino the Alchemist. That's our first option. Second option, much easier, you can just basically skip everything beforehand and just give the guard 100 gold. You give him 100 gold, he lets you in. Third option. Instead of telling Kantar no, to not give you the paper, you tell him yes, please give me the favor, uh, the paper, and you will owe him a favor. But I do not recommend this option, this is something you would normally do on your first playthrough Gothic, like I did, because I was stupid, but I didn't know that there's also deceiving people in here. Anyway, he will give you a paper. You go to the to the guard and you just tell him you have a pass to get inside. Simple as that. It's a valuable paper and I even think you can give it to somebody else that needs it later if you really want to. But you don't get any experience or anything else. This next option involves in uh, actually in skipping Greg and getting the farmer clothing on. You would do this in the base game as well, because there's no Greg, and probably one of the only options to get in the city besides going around. You become a farmer, you say to the guard you need to repair some tools, and you get in. Yeah, you need to tell Lobart you need to keep the sheep well fed. Now this option is a little bit tricky. It involves going sideways inside. In the base game it's super simple, you just go in and nobody's gonna stop you. Here the guard will definitely stop you. You can do it twice and the third time the guards will attack you. Especially the second one if he catches you. So you need to get to Lothar before the second guard actually catches you doing it. As you'll see in the bonus round of this exact same moment in a second. So this is what happens if uh, you don't get it right. So I tried to talk to Lothar, but the guard was already attacking me. So the guard killed me while I was still talking. <laughs> and yet, I could still choose the option to leave, but I was already dead, which is kind of a bug, honestly. <laughs> and the best way to get into the city, although the most risky, you can see that they blocked the, um, the walls on top with certain fences. There's no way you can actually climb over, but you can still go around, which we're doing right now. You might as well climb up here to avoid the mole rats. You can also deal with them later. You can kill them easily, but th for the sake of the video, I'm going to skip them. Grab everything on the way and just keep on to the wall to the left side. Might be a little more careful here. You can fall down on certain areas, but it shouldn't be too difficult if you already know how to play the game. I'm going to go down here, hug the wall. And grab on to this ledge over here again. Then uh, equip your bow. And you're going to take down the little blood fight that's uh, 
hanging around here instead of using your sword to do it. It will require free arrows if you have the enemies on 50%. You can do more damage if you have at least a little bit of dexterity, which you can't really get. Uh, go on top of the wall again and jump down where there's a little slope. So you just basically slide down. And then avoid getting caught by the next guards because the gate here is closed. But you do need to go around. And just go to the left side and hug the wall afterwards. In the base game you would actually have to go on top on the road and uh, climb over some cliffs and all that here it's actually a little bit easier you just go around the wall because this area is actually open now you're gonna have to fight a mole rat while you're here in the previous uh, versions of this game there was actually a spider here a giant spider that's much tougher to kill at level one to three but here we just have a mole rat and we deal with it easily then climb up this little ledge and on top of the wall. Once you're inside, just go down all the way to the port and talk to our good old friend, Laris, the mercenary. I must be crazy. What are you doing? Did you swim here? <laughs> That's one way to get past the guards. You get plenty of experience this way and even one dexterity point. And I think this one is the most worth it. If you don't like this one, choose the Constantino one instead. And here we are in the city. And what a lovely city it is. Have a fun day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take what you can. Give nothing back.